Hi, Pat Gallagher here. Um, today I'd like to show uh, a different kind of knot work pattern. Um, this particular knot is called a Celtic grid knot. And the one I'm going to show is uh, called the Carrick Bend. And it starts off with four parallel lines. One, two, three, four. And then we go perpendicular. One, two, three, four. And obviously we're trying to make the squares sort of the same. Now, this particular knot is called the Carrick Bend knot, and it's quite popular in Aaron style sweaters, Irish sweaters. Um, and when it was used on a sweater for a seaman or a fisherman, it was considered a sailor's breastplate, which brought them good luck. So first, the, we have our grid here. Then we work off the corner with a teardrop shape. You don't want to do a circle. You want to do a teardrop. And you want to make the circles sort of relative to that size there. So we're coming off the other corner. See, it's like a teardrop shape. Now, a common mistake is to, you know, put a circle on the corner like that. We don't want that, okay? So then you put a target in the center of the teardrops and you come off the inside line and continue your pathway. Now remember, we're making pathways in the George Bain style of, of working here. So we're using the light color for the pathway. Now we switch to a darker color and we then start the process of paralleling the inside lines. Whoop. Paralleling the inside lines. And I'm going to switch pencils. Okay, there we go. A little different color. Now this one takes a little bit longer. Um, you can extend the grid out in all directions, but it's quite a nice one, and you can fill in a nice background area with it. Um, oh, I forgot the, forgot the tips there. Okay, so we're going along. Now this one takes a little longer. It has a lot more intersections, or unders and overs, as we like to call them. Oh, there we go. Now, and don't forget, the most important one is to go all the way around the outside. A common mistake, especially on this one, because it can be so grandiose in a sense of having all these intersections. So we're going along. Okay. You know, I wanted to thank everybody for all the nice comments that you had made uh, on our previous uh, demonstrations on how to make Celtic knot work. So, uh, you know, we hope to, you know, keep them coming to you. So now we're going to start the unders and overs. So anywhere you start is okay. But once you start, you need to stay on the path. Okay, so I'm arbitrarily picking this spot here. So we're going over, and we're going under, and we're going over, and we're going under. So, you know, it's on, off, on, off, so under. Now, I find that I, the more complicated it gets, the more I have to concentrate. which really provides, you know, provides that meditation quality to the art form that is really soothing. So we're coming around the bend here. Now, don't forget to count. So this one's over. Now we're going under. That already exists. You kind of work your way around. It takes a lot longer. 
Okay, where are we? There's one there. We're coming around. Now, let's see. We got any left over? Now, you'll notice that there's some here and there that you have to fill in. Because one of the things about a Carrick Bend is it's two separate pieces of uh, material or string or rope or something because it's a sailor's knot. So we have, you know, two separate pieces here, which is very possible then you can color them differently. Um, but remember in our technique now, now we, we fill in and cover up the pathway. Now I'm going to follow along because I want to show the, the different spots. Now for these videos, we're kind of moving along. I, I do, on my own work, uh, take my time. Um, sometimes I actually use a ruler and I measure things, um, but only when I have to. Okay, so we have that one. So now I'm going to switch to a different color here so you can see the two different patterns here. Now this was a sailor's breastplate and it was tied for good luck and protection and it's really nice uh, nice thing that you can make for somebody or you know to fill in a grid or an open space on a nice calligraphy um, also provides other shapes where you know you could go in here and make more knots if you wanted to so there's the carrot bend very simple but a grid knot now, in, in my past, I once showed this at a workshop, um, I think it was in West Virginia or someplace like that, um, and a lady came up out of the crowd, and she was from Kentucky, and she said that in her tradition of her family, uh, which they were come from a Scots-Irish tradition, that they had a very similar knot that was, um, called, was used for quilting. And I'd like to show you that one just as a little aside here. Um, instead of making the lines, they make four rows of dots. Now, one of the techniques that the ancient monks used was the dot method. Now, I'm using the Bain method, which uses pathways, but the, uh, the dot method works very nicely. So, you start off, now, when the lady did this to me, I was awed by it. So. Um, sometimes I get it wrong and sometimes I get it right. So um, I'm going to try and make a go for it. So now we're making the pathway. And this is a quilting knot out of Scots Irish uh, culture. It was handed down, this lady said, from her grandmother to her mother to her. And a very exciting kind of technique. And it directly relates to the idea of the grid knot. There we go. All right, well, thank you very much.